All right, welcome back once again on our Friday night. Made it to the end of another work week. 84 degrees in Fargo is very interesting. We'll look at our radar here in a minute. See that sunshine. It's been so nice all day in Fargo. Not too far away at all. In fact, in our region, western areas right now, it's been rain for quite a while. Rain just very slowly moving through. South wind, by the way, 17 miles per hour in Fargo. Grand Forks looking at partly cloudy to mostly cloudy conditions, 78 degrees. Feels like 79 out there. Winds west, southwest at about 9 miles per hour. We take a look, and again, you can see right here, just by looking at the temperatures, I don't need to tell you where the rain is even located. 63, 64, 63 for Langdon, Devils Lake, Jamestown. Then all of a sudden you move quickly into the 70s and 80s. 82 Bemidji, 82 Detroit Lakes. Those areas have seen the sunshine. Those temperatures have really warmed nicely. Well, how about that? Satellite and radar? Yes, that is where the rain is located. Relatively thin line, but again, it's been slow moving. Some lightning, especially as you head south of Jamestown. Now, uh, this area of rain will eventually make its way later this evening into uh, the Red River Valley and then eventually off into Lakes Country, northwest Minnesota as well. Rain so far, how about Crary? Close to four inches of rainfall. Edmore about an inch and a half. Langdon about an inch and three quarters, or I should say a third there. So again, those areas that have seen rain, it's just been sitting there. It's very slowly moving. First alert forecast, again, eventually Red River Valley. So if you're out this evening, you're in Grand Forks, you're in Hallock, you're in Fargo, uh, Valley City. Uh, eventually that rain's coming and it is, again, it's going to stick around for about two or three hours before pushing off to the east. So if you're heading outdoors this evening, uh, you've got those plans, make sure you have the umbrella or just know that it is going to be raining at some point out there. Look at tomorrow morning. We're back to clear conditions. Very nice for our Saturday. In fact, temperatures a little cooler, dry, should feel great out there for our Saturday. So with that in mind, additional rainfall. Again, we take a look here. What we're finding is this is through tomorrow morning, less than a half an inch. So those areas that have seen a lot of rain as this system moves east, we're not going to see nearly that much coming down in the Red River Valley. How about tonight? Another Friday high school football night. What do we got for you? We've got rain interference there. Yeah, again, most areas going to see at least a little bit of rainfall. Kickoff temperatures in the 60s. That's about the same as it's going to be when we wrap up the game. Tomorrow's highs low to mid 80s, upper 70s for some. Now our 11 day planner, we go to 87 on Sunday, 85 on Monday, Tuesday. Very warm. Then temperatures start to back off, especially the end of next week and the weekend. First day of fall, 68, 65 on Monday. And again, we're talking a little ways away, but it is going to feel like fall just in time for fall. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was su surprised to see that up there. Works so. out. I know. I'm happy about it. Yeah, I haven't. I wasn't here with you yesterday, so. I missed you. Yeah, I missed you too. <laughs> <laughs> Go to break. Up next, we'll show you new equipment being installed in school buses in Minneapolis that is helping to prevent accidents and keep your kids safe.